Good morning, fam, and happy Friday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week, inspirational and encouraging weekly recap from this week. We've been discussing your spiritual citizenship this week. And on Monday, we discussed the citizenship is the relationship between an individual and a state to which the individual owes allegiance and in turn is entitled to its protection and how your behavior will be a reflection of what is poured into you. And your behavior will tend to be a reflection of his behavior being God the Father, his behavior being God the Son, and his behavior being God the Holy Spirit that is working in you and in those who are around you and your family of God. On Tuesday, we continue to forward and speak around the theme where your spiritual citizenship is. And we remember that citizenship is the relationship between an individual and a state to which the individual owes allegiance and in turn is entitled to its protection. On Wednesday, we primarily focused on protection due to entitlement. And since God is our spiritual father, and if we have allegiance to him, then he provides protection to us because of the entitlement. On Thursday, we referenced another scripture around citizenship in the book of Luke in chapter 10 and verse 20, and discussed how we have also have personal documentation to provide anyone that may be requesting proof of our citizenship. And from a spiritual standpoint, our names are written in the book of life for God to reference as confirmation that we are spiritual citizens of heaven. That acts as our documentation because we passed the heavenly process for becoming a citizen, which is accepting Christ as our Lord and Savior. So I pray that you take heed to what was discussed this week and look at your citizenship from a different perspective, more so from a spiritual perspective and allow it to change your behavior and your lifestyle and your attitude in knowing and understanding that all of those outputs will be a reflection and should be a reflection of your spiritual citizenship. Allow that to resonate in your spirit today and over the weekend as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian leader that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.